Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial for Photoshop CC 2014, I'm just going to use a contour custom shape to create a pattern design. And I'm going to use that pattern design to create a sort of weird, surreal background. Now, first thing to do, just go over to the Custom Shape tool, select Shape option because I want it to be a vector layer. I'm going to go with Fill Black and Shape, selected one of these contour shapes. You can find those on the Graphic Extras website. So, one is a vector layer so I can actually distort it because what I want, I don't want that sort of nice uniform shape. I actually want to edit, transform path, and distort. And I want to sort of fill the entire document as well. So I'm just going to stretch it that way and just distort it that direction as well. And again, distort there. Right, so I've actually got this design now that I'm gaining that. So I'm going to create a pattern. So I'm Flatten that, flatten that layer. Now, of course, it's going to be a very disjointed design because, of course, it just goes off over the seams. And edit, define pattern, click OK. Now, go to another document. Key thing here, go to edit and fill, is to remember to actually change, obviously, you get the pattern option there, is to correct, get the correct pattern. Obviously, I've got some patterns there already. I'm just going to go and select my pattern because unfortunately you can't actually change it once you've got the dialogue up so you've actually got the pattern you had before so rather annoying feature but so you have to select it here so once you've actually selected that click OK and it will come up a dialogue now this dialogue doesn't actually match the end result in any shape or form because you can actually see hardly see the actual design It'd be really nice if that design actually came out unfortunately it doesn't but a bit of trial and error, click OK, and there you've got the actual design. Got actual weird sort of surreal background. Of course, if you decide you want to actually create another, create another layer, and that's the best way to use this tool, is just go to layer and add to a layer and fill that layer. So you can actually fill. Otherwise, what happens is you end up finding you'll actually get just the same blank sort of spaces, which is not really particularly what I want. I actually want to fill the entire document. So now it's going to be applied to a layer. So again, just go there. Again, let's say the dialogue will show very, very, very small. Unfortunately, it's not accurate at all. Click OK. There you have it. You've got filled a little bit more. And again, you can go to a layer, new layer. And again, fill. And again, run with the same thing. And it will randomize the actual design again. Hopefully this time, Will actually fill that final bit of space over there and there you have it entire document filled with very surreal and unusual contour designs and actually quite painful to look at as well in many ways